boards have been approving their own salaries and or their own remunerations and more so the remunerations and the packages uh, of the chief executive officer or the chief operating officer or the chief financial officer or the chief strategy officer and there in the past 3 decades has been this phenomenal rise uh, in the remunerations and the salary packages so much so that there has been immense resentment not only within the organization but also outside the organization that how can anyone have so much of remuneration uh, and how is it that people can have so many uh, benefits actually infinite benefits and how is it that every single expense of an individual can be charged to the company and so on and so forth so all of this has been a global controversy in the corporate sector and people have been questioning directors remuneration and the salary packages of the chief officers of uh, a, a company now what we see is is that these salary packages have been skewed have been tilted in favor of the individual and uh, it sometimes uh, becomes uh, very unbelievable that how can these salaries particularly exist we have seen uh, only recently about one week ago a very large pakistani startup uh, closing i will not take its name but more than 110 million dollars uh, has been wasted in administrative and especially uh, salary packages so therefore there is a great need to have a balanced remuneration for the directors and also for the different uh, stakeholders or what we can say uh, for uh, the different uh, constituents of a particular organization and then most importantly its chief officers should not be able to squander the profits of an organization just because the collective work is contributing to phenomenal profits so all of this is intertwined with each other and interlinked with each other and like i mentioned to you is very controversial so when you look at it we basically can see that there should be formal and transparent procedures for fixing the remuneration packages of individual directors no director should be involved in deciding his or her own remuneration because if the director is deciding that then that basically means that the director uh, is uh, implicitly in conflict of interest and therefore that should not be allowed and the directors cannot Uh, approve their own salaries their own uh, packages uh, their own uh, remuneration frameworks that that has to be discouraged to a great extent secondly the details of aggregate remuneration for executive and non executive directors are including salary fees and performance based packages and it just like mentioned earlier should be properly discovered in the financial statement so all of these things are very important normally what we see is that only the salary is coming forward and the other things are all in a shadow of remuneration frameworks when actually what should happen is is that uh, every component and any factor of the remuneration and every component of the remuneration should be disclosed and people should know what the package of certain individuals are and that would actually uh, in the long run tend to um, influence positively or would be there to undercut upon the a uh, flamboyant uh, salary uh, which exists within the corporate sector so we basically see again that it is important uh, that uh, everything is declared from the salary to the fees uh, and performance based packages so all of these have to be declared so that there is no conflict of interest so that uh, there is uh, no concealment uh, of facts and again everything is above the board so that is extremely important and that is how we see that the director's remuneration uh, is very important in the context of values based leadership and also in the context uh, of having a honest work environment and that is the very essence of how things have to go and they should be going in the context of the director's remuneration thank you so much